So this is truly a very unique journey that we are going on. Most people have never heard about high pointing before and they probably <laughs> never will throughout their lifetime. But there are some things that you come across that are just too good not to share. Well, pony. And so here we are. <laughs> I found out that there's a whole organization devoted to high pointing. I mean, who knew? We have, you know, just the casual hiker, and we have uh, experienced mountaineers, and we have some that just come from low income, and some that have more money than they know what to do with. Many of the high points you can drive to, or they're very short hikes. You don't have to be a super athlete to do them. Like Florida, when you go there, you're like, oh, here I am at 345 feet, and you're like, woohoo! But yet, you know, it is a high point. It's one you have to get. We found out through some friends in the High Pointers organization that there was a mother-daughter team that wanted to be the first to climb the lower 48 states. Turns out that the only peak they don't have is Gannett Peak in Wyoming. It's probably the hardest of the lower 48 to climb. I was diagnosed with hip dysplasia January of 2013. I do have to get surgery next year, so it's kind of putting our nose to the grindstone this year trying to get Gannett Peak done. My stomach was churning as we were packing up. We knew this was going to be a difficult climb, but we wouldn't have sent our daughter around if we didn't think she could do it. It's never clear if we're going to reach the top. It just never is. around one bend and there it was in all of its glory right in front of us. Uh, we were crossing through boulder fields that one slip could break a leg, sprain an ankle, dislocate a shoulder. Once you get out there I think you just catch the bug and there's just there's no going back. You know there's always ways you can try everything possible until the end to make your dreams happen. <laughs>